time to start the plumbing process. So, we see in the last video, our wood gas control valve back here. This is the dump valve that runs up cable control into the dash on the control handle. To that, I've now added small chunk of PVC as an adapter to a three inch sewer hose. This is probably gonna be temporary. I'm not quite happy with the way it's sitting. I'll probably redo this in PVC later, but to get me going down the road for now, it'll work. Drops down underneath the bed, underneath the truck cross member. Let me get down here. And here is the current blower system. So these are both uh, bilge blower motors. This one here is going to be wired up in reverse. That will push air back through the system all the way through the rails up to the gas fire and actually purge early gas out of the hopper so that we don't get any puff backs. These two blowers are wired both to be pulling gas and it will just dump right here underneath the truck. Initial startup, these are the two blowers that we're gonna be running to uh, get the system lit and start warming it up. Now, because there's a control valve right there, from there in the system, it's all completely sealed off. From this point out, this does not have to be sealed. We're just, we just want it sealed up enough that the blowers can do their job. So I've just got some silicone pipe couplers and hose clamps locking these together. And then of course that sewer hose over there, which needs a couple zip ties to hold it up because uh, it's a little bit bouncy and I don't want it to start coming apart as we go down the road. So it'll get secured over there to the frame rail like so. But like I said, reverse blower and two vacuum blowers lighting up, purging the system. And I have these two wired together. These will go to some switches to control everything. We're gonna have switches in the cab and we're gonna have switches somewhere on the bed I haven't figured out yet. And then the reverse blower will have its own switch for using it as a perch. Now let's go inside and look at what I got going on the pusher blowers. So here's going to be the actual air inlet for the system. This is our other dump valve that we made. It'll be spring loaded. And just like the back one, we're going to have a control handle inside the cab where we can open and close it while we're driving. Uh, two reasons for that. You want to be able to control the system as easily as possible. In my other truck, both of my controls are outside of the cab, so I actually have to get out of the truck to start the system up and to shut it down. Now with the Dodge, I'll be able to uh, warm up the system from inside the cab and I'll be able to shut the system down from inside the cab. The only reason I will have to climb on the bed is initial light up and refueling. So we got our one spring control cable dump valve, uh, positive air shut down, positive air shut off, whatever you want to call it. So. The outside diameter of this thing is almost a perfect fit inside of a three inch bilge blower. I just had to take these little ridges and file them down a little bit, slid it inside of the blower. I used a couple of small screws to lock it in place so that this can't rotate one way or another and sealed it up with some electrical tape. Now, because this is in the airstream, you know, air is coming in here, the potential is that oxygen can leak into the system that we don't have control over from this point in. So from this valve in, everything has to be sealed up. So for instance, these wires right here, they're just through a little rubber grommet that kind of move around. This is gonna get electrical taped up, make sure we don't have any air leaks. This is currently airtight. This little air filter adapter, it's a Spectre 87, what, what part, what was the part number? 8751. You can get these at uh, O'Reilly's, Amazon, lots of places. They're in between like 11 and 20 bucks, depending on where you get them. This is a three inch OD to two and a half inch OD adapter. These are the same ones that I used on my Toyota that go from my gas line on the mixer box to the throttle body. They just happen to be the same size for these bilge blowers. And they're cheap enough and they seal really good that I felt justified in, in using it for this purpose. So this will get mounted underneath the bed as this assembly and the control cable going up to the control handle in the cab. Probably do that after work today. 
Now, this adapts our three inch blower down to a uh, two inch ID PVC pipe. I'm still gonna have to adapt this once again to this two and a quarter inch exhaust, which is what I made the air intake system out of that uh, comes out of the heat exchanger. So this will go over to the heat exchanger and up to control air coming into the system. This gives me the option that if I want to be basically really super stealth and no smoke shown, I can pull into somewhere and park, flip that handle, and it shuts down the whole system. No smoke shown anywhere. That's, that's at least the idea. So this is going to get thrown onto the truck next. In the interest of making everything fit, before I place the front blowers, I had decided to plumb in the hay filter from the condensate tank. So, see my two PVC lines. One of them I had to get a little bit trick and uh, go over the fuel tank using that handy little electric heater bender dealy whopper 5000. And that one comes in right there. The second one comes in right behind it. Now I had planned to put the blower right here just on the other side of that gas line. So remember these two lines right here coming out of the hay filter. I had planned to put it right there. There was just no way it was going to work and that was also a temporary plan. So like I said before, I do want to put a heat exchanger on the exhaust in this truck. I haven't built that yet and you can run the system without it. So I was going to temporarily put the blower right there. Well, after plumbing these lines in, seeing where these two lines are going to come out, there's no way it's going to fit right there. I couldn't have it sitting over here because I don't want it picking up air from out here where the tire is going to be kicking up dirt and dust and mud and everything else. I want the air going into the system to be, well, not filtered, but at least clean. Oh, and I got another fern coat cap for my drain on the hay filter. So that spot wasn't going to work out. That spot wasn't going to work out. Couldn't find a good spot to put it underneath of the cab where it wasn't either going to be in the way of my gas lines going forward up to the engine or it wasn't going to be in danger of the drive shaft or it wasn't going to be too close to the gas fire. So what ended up working out right there, which actually works out really nicely. So you can see our other valve, the dump valve is right there. This one's basically right in front of line with it. So I can build another one of those brackets for the cable, mount it right there and the control cable comes straight over and straight forward which works out perfect because I plan for the other handle to be just inside the seat right here so now I need to get that handle mounted build that bracket run those two cables both the controls are done then I need to pipe from there up forward to the gas outlet you can just see poking out right there that's basically just gonna run straight down 90 underneath of the gas fire straight to it that should be pretty easy minus the fact that there's a slope on the bottom of the tank so the pipe is gonna have to come down real low 90 and then probably creep back up to get into that blower but this section right here will temporarily be pvc probably right up to the filter so i can use the heater and put a step in the pipe then it'll be steel from there to there no problems and then whenever i get around to building the heat exchanger i'll make sure that my air inlet is on this side of it and my air outlet is on that side of it so that will be a straight shot down into the heat exchanger and this will be probably just a lump up angle right into the blower so now i guess that's its permanent home that'll work out pretty good i got some more cable so tomorrow i'll start with uh, mounting the handle getting those cables ran Today I built my tabs that will mount on the controls, um, the mixer valves up underneath the engine bay. Those will be hooked up to the cable controls. Started working on the air filters. So this is a three inch OD exhaust coupler to two and a half inch OD with a piece of two and a half inch OD slipped inside. This is a tight fit on a two inch PVC. So I got two of those built because they'll go underneath the hood, one on the left, one on the right. And the mixer box is starting to look like a spider had some meth that just decided to build this very strange web. Hopefully it's going to fit. Got all the valves just kind of sitting on it. 
um, yeah down to the last of the plumbing there's the gas outlet pipe sealed up with a liberal amount of uh, HVAC aluminum tape several layers make sure you got it good and stuck down all the way Got a coupler right here the reason there's a cut here in the pipe is this dog leg that hangs down this has to spin to go in and out kind of got some clearance here that we have to achieve that's why that pipe is that short but it also gives me a pretty good handle to be able to tighten the thing down when it comes in and out pipe going straight down in between the cooling rails the front tank and the gas fire you can just see a silicone coupler down there right there and then she kicks underneath still in metal pipe comes out the front over the top of the cross member another silicone coupler to PVC and over to the blower so now I need to make the cable control to be able to activate that from in the cab and I'm sure a couple people are wondering this whole time I put the bed on the truck put the gas fire in why did I not board this over did I not have enough boards a am I too cheap to go buy more well you're close I didn't buy any of these boards to start with these are all scrap and what's gonna go here is scrap I I'm way too cheap to go buy new lumber especially today's prices but I left those because I can get to every gas line I'll get to that valve I got to all my plumbing through there. I knew I was going to have to run a pipe underneath of there. I can access everything with these two boards off. I could have done it all from underneath, but why crawl underneath the truck when you can lay on your belly and be totally fat and lazy and do it right here? Think. Work smarter, not harder. Well, that's about all the plumbing on the back half of the truck. Uh, only actual plumbing that's left is coming out of the hay filter, down, heading up into the engine bay but that all kind of encompasses on the the front half of the plumbing so we'll get to the net well after i build this control cable and hang the handle in the cab then we're officially done on the back of the truck uh remember that pipe that i just installed uh for the fresh air inlet is still temporary that's going to be um replaced when i build the heat exchanger on the exhaust later on down the road try and get as much you know heat efficiency and scavenging as we can make it uh Hopefully as efficient as possible, make it easy on wood, because um, the truck's not easy on gas, and I'd much prefer to drive it on wood. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, next time I see you guys, we'll be hooking up the front of the truck.